Y'all remember a couple episodes ago when I was looking at the demon lore for the first time and I'm like, wait, look, she's got six legs. She's a spider. I was schizo. She's not a spider because it was just her clothing. But actually, she is a spider because it's Wakaba. Last episode pretty much confirms everything. So technically, I was right, even though I was wrong. If you understand what I'm saying. The plot continues to thicken. All the secrets are coming up, but it's not enough. Let's see what's going to tell us today's reaction. Right. We had the admin show up. We had the demon guy show up. Admin D. Who are you? Her Japanese was good. Huh. Huh. Is that... Is that super important? So, like... Obviously, Admin D is from Japan, then? <laughs> I feel like there is no deep reason as to why they're reincarnated. I don't know. If D is supposed to be this, this like, god... Well, there's, like, multiple admins, right? Because this is only, like... Senior admin D, assuming there's more letters associated with different admins, there should be more admins. But I feel like admin D is just fucking around. She seems to like games. She just kind of did this for fun. Is there a greater reason or is it simply entertainment? I don't know. <laughs> That's right, we got four friends now, all together. Hmm? It is what it is. Honestly, this is some of Wakaba's best mindset and personality. Is just like the stoic mindset. It is what it is. Fuck it. Can't do anything about it. Move on. That's right. Focus on stuff that you can focus on. Right? Some things are out of your control. Spatial magic! Teleportation, teleportation, teleportation. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Maybe we can even port out of the labyrinth? I'm not sure, but... If we get spatial magic, that's gonna be cracked. Human side. That's right, Julius Nisama died. Chun, you're the hero now. This is dad? Julius was so perfect. Now I got this piece of shit son. He has to be the hero? And hold up. So this is the second and probably third prince, right? Why did they not get the hero title? Why did fucking Shun get it? He's fourth in line. Maybe they'll explain now. I wonder if they're jealous, you know? Why him? Stand proud. Leston. Are you jealous, Leston? No? He seems like a genuinely good person. This guy, I'm not sure. I, the Leston seems like a pretty good bro. This guy, based on his looks, I don't know. <laughs> Priority? This guy's like, Dad, get over it. Julius is dead, come on. What about the inheritance or like, who's gonna be the hero? Yeah, exactly, shut up, come on, get with it. <laughs> bro, the body, let the body, the body's so cold, Jesus. Oh, it's a sibling death, man, it's not a big deal. Sidus, okay. Love how their hair color is just like darker and lighter shades of blue. And like, the king didn't like appoint Shun as a hero. The system automatically did. So the system recognizes that the Shun is the superior brother of all the princes? Well, oh, this guy is super mad. Look at this guy, dude. This guy's super mad. Also, if Hugo hears about this, he's gonna be even more mad. So, okay. I thought, I, I thought, like, the hero descendant is, like, within the family line. But no, it's like, it's like, basically it just resets in RNG and, and then the system de determines, like, whoever is more fit to be a hero. So it's just by chance. So it's not about, like, second prince should get it. No, no, no. It's just by chance. Huh. Yashun is pretty lucky. He? I don't know, but it just puts more targets on his back. Yeah, Hugo didn't get it though. <laughs> Hugo trash. Yeah, Yuri is fucking. That's what you get for stealing this fucking spider scarf from 15 years ago. You deserve that, Julius. <laughs> Biggest death flag. <laughs> Biggest death flag. Bro's about to go to war. <laughs> then he says this shit. You never say stuff like that before you go to war. You just, you silently go and come back. Why would you say this? Queen Taratex. Probably not 
I don't know what it means to be a Queen Tarata. Could it be Mama Spider? Where's Mama Spider around? That's another thing I'm wondering. Because now Wakaba is a demon lord. Remember Mama Spider that was trying to fucking... That, that tried to eat us in the beginning in episode one? Do we like rule over Mama Spider now? Is Mama Spider still alive? Is that Queen Tarata? Who knows? Yuri is dead. That's what you get for stealing the fucking scarf. The demon lord scarf. Who's Ronanzo? Strongest human maid. Alright, they're hyping him up. Beauteous magic sensei too. Okay. I don't think we've seen him yet, right? Alright. Secret. Don't let people know he's the hero. But like, people with appraisal should be able to just immediately know that he is the hero, right? Like, Okachan, I bet she already fucking knows. Is he gonna leak? Every scene that the second bro has been in, I'm not sure if he's the first or second, this dude has just been menacing. I, you know he's gonna start some shit. Like, this guy is bad news. No, I don't know, man. Be your fucking hero. Leave the academy. So, like, training arc? Not as upset as the blue hair dude in the front. Can Shun really do that? He's just a boy. He's not a man, he's just a boy. Look at this. <laughs> Every frame. He's just giving the bro the biggest side eye, dude. At least we can trust a purple hair, long hair, bro. He's nice. Pussy? Gonna cry? Gonna cry because your big bro died? Yeah, I would cry too, honestly. Let's see how he comes back from this. Shouldn't does feel like the main character of the human side, huh? Like, straight up from the human side, I feel like Shun is the protagonist. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, he is already the hero, but like... Okay, here's the strongest mage. This is the strongest mage. He's got a good hair. Yo, what kind of fucking magic does he have to keep that hairline? I can't even call him bald, even though he's like 120 years old. God damn. Indeed, strongest magician. Mm, don't say that. Don't say that. You're psychic. Oh, you're jinxing it. You're jinxing it. Summon the Queen Taratex. Nightmare of the Labyrinth. Elro Labyrinth. So let's get some lore on who this Elro person could be or what the Labyrinth even is. Legendary monster. Is it a spider? What is it? Okay, 15 years ago. Nightmare of the Labyrinth. Whose party is this? The, the magician's party. So he was there 15 years ago. Here we go. Wakaba well, should be here sometime too, right? Is he faking his injury? <laughs> He's faking his injury. <laughs> Old man's kind of funny. <laughs> this guy is not going home to see his new baby. Why? Why would you say? It's, no, 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 it's not even this guy's fault. The, the dude with the baby didn't even say it. The old man said it. That's fucked up. It's not even, I, it's not even this guy. If this guy said, I got to get home to my newborn baby, that'd be like, you fucked up. But this isn't even his fault. The magician did it. That is messed up, bro. What? How could you do this to him? Yeah, your lovely wife, your newborn baby. This magician is fucked up. I can't believe he did this to him. He killed him just now. <laughs> Ronanti, what the fuck? What are they scouting for? Okay. Frog, wait. Lizard, they, they fled their habitat for the exit. People are leaving the labyrinth. These, like, monsters that we were eating before are straight up just running away from the labyrinth. Why? Because of Wakaba's threat? Other monsters, like, being more hostile? All, all these monsters are what we just faced, right? Every one of them. The eel, yes, a snake. A spider monster! That several adventuring parties have mentioned directly Wakaba's influence. There she is! Wakaba! Its threat level is thought to be A, maybe even S, the most dangerous classification. Now, this could be just, you know, the mama spider, right? 
Queen Tartect, maybe. But I'd like to think that this is Wakaba, hopefully. And like, that's this is 15 years ago, right? This is 15 years ago, and they're already categorizing her as S, the most dangerous classification. And we know that like there's a lot of potential room to grow, right? <laughs> Then this party is straight up just for Wakaba? Nah, you gonna die. You gonna die, dude. I like Ronan's though. He's very casual. He just wants to fuck around. <laughs> we are in the middle stratum. Nah, we got the resistance now. Oh! Stuck. Spiderweb? What is it? Webs! Can't even cut it. It's too sticky. Light it on fire. Oh! Incantationless! What if he ends up killing them? <laughs> They're so close to the web. <laughs> that guy! Yo! This guy got caught on fire! Look! <laughs> this dude just like died! Yo, someone put the fire out! My home! My home! Our home! Hmm, where is she right now? Wakaba, where are you at? Yo, they're destroying our home! I feel like this is Wakaba's perspective, right? We keep seeing like upper angles. Is she above? Where is she? Oh, there it is! This is crazy. This is crazy how like... You know, when you're from the perspective of Wakaba, everything seems all fun and oh, cute anime spider, yeah, fun. But from the perspective of other humans, it's fucking terrifying. You know what I mean? Oh! Is it her? So, this is how people perceive Wakaba. Not this like cute anime spider girl with big eyes. No, no, no. Because like we've seen this couple episodes ago too, right? Because it just looks fucking terrifying, dude. Holy shit, that's what she looks like? It's not so small. I thought, dude, she looks fucking terrifying. I thought that she'd be way smaller too, right? Well, I'm not sure how much time has passed since we last saw. Maybe she had more evolutions, but like she looks way bigger, right? The future demon lord. It's just observing you. Curse I all the Evil Eye series. Y'all are fucked. Uh, it's roaring. Uh -huh. Oh! All eight eyes, right? What was that? Cursed eye? What? Appraisal. And like this appraisal stat, the skill is super rare, right? Like the fact that like rat, like a human having appraisal is pretty rare. But the fact that a monster has it, isn't that like even more crazy? Because you wouldn't associate like intelligence with monsters, right? Zoaere. What is that? What is a Zoaere though? We know that it's an evolution tree, but like what is it, you know? There's too many skills! We can't read all these skills! There's a fucking Excel spreadsheet with like 10,000 rows of the skill! <laughs> Yo! Look at this shit. How are we supposed to read this? I, how the f So technically, I guess uh, he can do appraisal too, but like, okay, well then. Holy shit. Foul feeder, kin eater, monster slayer, poison technique, thread, merciless monster slot, ruler of pride. Where's demon lord? Anything here? We got dragon slayer. We got dragon slayer though. So I feel like this is pretty much just in line with the current timeline. I don't think we see any new skill here just yet, right? I think this is pretty much where we left off, right? What is height of a cult? No, no, we know that. We know that one. We know that one. We know that one. Helps her use magic better. This old man is nutting. Oh, blocked. Appraisal blocked. Everyone is running away from Wakaba. All the monsters 
everybody's getting the fuck out of the labyrinth because of how dangerous she is. And she is indirectly changing the fucking politics, the ecosystem, everything outside. While she's just fucking around in the labyrinth, just like, woohoo, yeah, my home. I got my imaginary friends. This old man is nutting. They're all down. Evil Eye series. I don't know, Cursed Eye. I don't know. This old man is straight up like, please take me as your apprentice to Wakaba. This old man doesn't care about all these people dying. He's straight up like, this spider has all the knowledge that I've ever wanted. Please teach me. <laughs> what? He just knocked him out. Baby to go home back to stop it old man just knocks him out <laughs> We're already annihilated to be honest You better beg for mercy Like I bet I don't know I don't know Wakaba's probably super upset right now huh that they destroyed everything like if we like Started doing dogeza like all on for it, just like start bowing and saying, please don't hurt us. Would Wakabe let us live? I feel like right now she might. I don't know exactly her perspective right now. How upset is she, right? Is she really mad? Oh, group teleportation. You got fast spatial magic too. I know they burned her house. I'm just saying, how seriously does she take it? Rock Turtle! Ooh, new summons! Are these monsters powerful? Or could a fucking frog that we beat in like episode 1 or 2 beat them? I feel like these monsters aren't really powerful. <laughs> and they dead. Dude, she's not even moving! She is just... She's just there! She is just like... Just, just standing and just looking and everyone is just dying. She hasn't moved. Ain't no way you call that kid a cock. Didn't do anything. Ooh, water. Ooh. She's too fast. Oh, well, actually got her there, actually. Nah, she good, she good, she good. Done. Gravity magic. That's the gravity spell we saw before. I forget what the skill was actually called. Heavy something? Heavy something, right? Yeah, she different. She built different. Rock Turtle doesn't want to move. Rock Turtle's fucking terrified. Oh, Rock Turtle's already dead. Never mind. <laughs> Rock, Tur <laughs> Rock Turtle already died. Oh, more summons. Okay. Ronan's still fucking gauging his teleportation things. Fuck, this is actually terrifying, man. Dude, like, I love the perspective of the humans right now. Because so far, whenever I've seen Wakaba fight... I've never felt like this, you know? Like, we just see this cute little spider girl doing cute little shenanigans. We're like, oh, she's so quirky. Let's go, girl boss. That's right. Never give up. But right now, it's just like so fucking terrifying. This is an absolute monster. The, the, the threat of the situation is significantly higher. I love this. The, the, this perspective of the humans witnessing Wakaba is like totally different. I love this. Wait, he's gonna survive and actually get to see his firstborn son? Uh oh, uh oh, 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 No shot, he sacrifices. Who? Bro could have actually lived. Bro could have actually lived. Bro actually sacrificed himself. Ronan's arm went off though, but goddamn, what the fuck was that? Some kind of like poison spear? Look at this, like poison lance? And even like, this is called a rune, right? I, I forget. Is, is it called a rune? The portals that show up? Like even like the fucking 
five star, the five point star, doesn't it look like very scary and uh, occult and like evil and demon lord like, man? <laughs> Rip. Oh? Alright, they survived. Barely. Wonder what's Wakaba thinking? What is Wakaba thinking, dude? Fuck. I love just like the perspective of the humans. Will he? Can anyone heal this poison attack? Look, I kind of want this guy to survive and meet his hot wife and a newborn baby, but at the same time, wouldn't it be cool if, like, you know, if these people uh, can't heal the poison because the poison is too, like, too, like, unknown and too OP, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Still raising death flags. Still raising death flags, dude. Did you survive though? It's a lot of blood. Did he live? Did he live? Dude, he might have actually lived there. They didn't confirm anything. Yo, Ronat got his arm back though somehow, huh? How'd he grow his arm back? Healing? Can healing just do that? The fact that another spider monster, Queen Tarkit, appeared before. So like, this is 15 years into the future. He's still thinking about the Nightmare of the Labyrinth as in Wakaba. But Wakaba right now is the Demon Lord. Would the Demon Lord right now also be the Queen Tartect? Or would it be separate? Is the Queen Tartect straight up our mom spider? Remember her? Wait till they figure out who the Nightmare is. There she is! The Nightmare! She's so scary. What? That's it? We got a post credit scene. We got a post credit scene. Post credit scene! Is this her getting upset at the house, being cut down? It is! Dude! How the fuck? Even the size of the spider! Like, she is so tiny here! But like, to the humans, she's fucking huge! <laughs> this show is fucking trolling! Like, I could understand the, like, the cute anime eyes, you know, being gone from the human's perspective, but like, she is literally 10 times the size of what we see right now! <laughs> Okay, she was fucking fuming in like a really silly, cute way. Yeah, self-defense. They all deserve to die. So this is the aftermath of the fight. Like, isn't this crazy? From Waka's perspective, this is all just cute little silly shenanigans. And from the human side, they're like terrified of this unknown creature that is beyond human comprehension. And they don't know what to do with their lives anymore. She's just having a schizo fucking moment. Marked. Okay, the mark will somehow... Okay. Sick! New level up. Zoa Eric can now evolve into Ede Sine. Whatever the fuck that is. Oh shit, new spider form. New spider form. She's probably gonna delay this, right? Every time she gets like a new evolutionary patch, she's like, ah, I'll figure that out later. Ede Sine. What is that? <laughs> Get it? It is Saine. Gomena Saine. Explanation. Known and feared as the embodiment of death itself. <laughs> A spider type monster with extremely high combat and stealth capability. I mean, we were already known as like the harbinger of misfortune, so I guess the embodiment of death. I mean, these are all very spooky words. <laughs> Did it? You're a demon lord! Yeah, let's do it. What's her new form? Let's see it. Taboo 10! Taboo 10? Does Taboo now evolve into something else? What, 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 what does that do? Installing information for what? What? What are you installing? Oh, god damn it. Oh. <laughs> Who 
finally we hit taboo 10 remember sometimes when you hit like level 10 on a skill it evolves into some kind of new skill right so like taboo 10 the fucking admin is installing dlc packages into us what's happening i don't know is this like n percent i equals w did we finally meet the gauge for that because that's like the progress into what was that godhood demon lord i don't know but that's it i think that this is one of the best episodes by far by far this is one of the best episodes because we got to see from the perspective of the humans whenever we're you know just hanging out from wakaba's perspective everything is very fun like even this right we're fucking mad yeah we're mad aren't we mad yeah they fucked up our health yeah i'm mad but like when the humans saw wakaba it was not like that you know they're like what is this? The nightmare, the labyrinth, this incomprehensible being. The other people reacting to Wakaba and what she's really like is, I think, the height of this show. Like, I love this shit. And I hope that as we move forward, we get to see more other people witnessing this cute little dumb spider that we thought was just a little harmless and fun and quirky. But little do we know. He's going to turn into a fucking demon lord. We got a new level up. We killed the humans and... That's probably what triggered it, right? Now Taboo's 10. We get to turn into Eda Sine. We get a new fucking form. And we're getting new DLC content. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.